Now's top 10 moments, selected and presented by Jessica. At number 10, Mao Zedong was born on December 26, 1893 in Shaoshan, Hunan province. He was born to a poor peasant family, which would help him later in life, for it gave him first-hand knowledge of peasants and the potential they had. Also, it motivated him to work extra hard to gain what he wanted. Event number nine, Mao releases his policy of letting a hundred flowers bloom in 1956. In the beginning, he did it to enlist support among China's intellectual elite by promoting the arts, culture, and a free exchange of views. But the exchanges in some cases led to criticism of the Communist Party, and Mao sent the intellectuals to the countryside for re-education. From this, he learned not to give his people too much freedom for fear of being criticized to a point of being overthrown. Event number eight. Mao leads a small group of Hunan peasants to the mountains of Jiangxi province in October 1927. There, he and other party members created a Soviet-style government and began to build a guerrilla army. By redistributing land to the peasants, they gained peasant support, which they would need for their peasant army later. Also, this was Mao's first army. Event number seven. In 1934, Mao and his forces are driven out, and they go northward in what is known as the Long March. The purpose of the Long March was to avoid the Chinese Soviet Republic that was founded in November 1931 in Jiangxi province. Mao gained reputation as a great leader in this march. Event number six. By 1935, the communists and nationalists forged a united front against the Japanese. Rivalry persisted, but the front held until 1945. The revolution that then began ended in 1949 with the communists victorious. Because of this, Mao gained more trust and reputation from the people as a powerful leader. Event number five. Mao fights in a revolution against China's rulers in 1911. This forced China's last emperor from power, which created an opening for a new leader. Without this opening, Mao wouldn't have had a chance to become the new leader. Because the emperor, China's ruler at the time, was overthrown, Mao could become the new leader. Event number four. Mao joins the Chinese Communist Party in 1921. This was the start of his career in communism. It gave him many ideas and molded him to become a great young revolutionary. Mao left work to become a full-time revolutionary in 1923 when the communists forged an alliance with Sun Yat-sen's nationalist party, the Kuomintang. It was at this time that Mao discovered the great potential of the peasant class for making revolution. This realization led him to the brilliant strategy he used to win control of China, to gain control of the countryside and encircle the cities. Event number three. Mao launches the Great Proletarian Cultural Revolution urged on by his radical wife, Jiang Qing, in 1966, later to end in 1976. He set the People's Liberation Army and the students, the Red Guards, on rich hunts against his opponents, which caused millions of Chinese sufferings or deaths, particularly teachers, writers, artists, party leaders, anyone determined to be reactionary in some way. The Cultural Revolution caused many deaths that Mao was, in the end, responsible for. Event number two. In 1958, Mao launches his Great Leap Forward, which is intended to modernize China's industrial capacity and increase agricultural production from the making of steel. However, one problem of the Great Leap Forward was that decisions were made for purely political rather than practical reasons, and coincidental natural disasters at the end of economic aid from the Soviet Union made the situation even worse. In the end, about 30 million people died during the famine of 1959 through 1962, the first major fail of Mao Zedong also bringing down his reputation. Event number one. Mao Zedong proclaims the founding of the People's Republic of China on October 1st, 1949. This was the moment when he united and gained control of China. Now he could make any decisions about the country he wanted, and his hunger for power would be satisfied.